Hello, this is a uh, tutorial regarding using the C++ language um, or calling out to the C++ language uh, using the Swift programming language. So Apple introduced a new programming language for Mac development, the new preferred language, which was Swift this week at WWDC. And immediately I, I wanted to grab it and play around with it and, and see what's possible in it. And uh, because I'm a lower level programmer, I prefer to write in languages like C and C++, so it was important to me to find out um, how easy it was for me to access my C++ code um, from a higher level language such as Swift. So um, I didn't really plan this video out in advance. I didn't. Um, I haven't tried this yet, so uh, if for any reason this doesn't work in the middle of the recording, I will just panic and start screaming and punch my laptop screen and break it. But uh, I don't expect that to happen. So. Um, this is an example of some C++11 code that I would like to call into from Swift. Um, there's a lot of useful features in C++11. Um, one of them is the, uh, the built-in normal distribution. So it has some really neat random number generators that are uh, built into the standard that are really just convenient and nice. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice to access things like that from Swift. Uh, not to mention the fact that, you know, most games are written in C++. And if you want to write an entire game in a multi-platform fashion, you want to write it in C++ and then maybe write like a Swift wrapper around the C++ code when you're bringing it to iPhone or, or, or Mac OS. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take most of this code minus the main function and copy it into a C++ uh, module or um, file we're going to add directly to this project. So this is just a basic Swift project. All it does is print out a line. I'm going to go ahead and add the C++ code by just saying we're going to add a new C++ file. And I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, CVP test. And uh, this is a useful feature. This is going to add a bridging header for me automatically, um, which is very useful and it's kind of how bridging works in the sense that whatever code we include in this header file is going to be exposed or bridged over to Swift. Uh, another way to, to utilize this is if you go into the project settings and look at code generation, you can customize um, this option under Objective-C bridging header, header, which is what I want to do. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and paste in my code here. And I'm going to take out main. And that is essentially cpptest.cpp, and that's my module, which includes uh, a class here and um, a method called git gaussian. Now from what I read, I haven't tried this yet and I don't feel like watching it not work um, because I expect it not to. Uh, anything inside this header has to be C or Objective-C. Uh, you cannot directly expose C++ classes to Swift, but what you can do is you can wrap those in C methods like the method I have right here, the function I have right here and then you could call those functions from Swift even though those functions have C++ code inside of them. So what I did was I wrapped the, um, the usage of my generator class here in a function called git gaussian and what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a header file that corresponds to CPP test and I'm just going to go ahead and put that prototype for that function right there and that is going to allow me to essentially modularize CPP test, and uh, which is pretty useful. What is this thing complaining about? Something about long. Shut up. There. All right. So basically. Now that I've done that, all I should have to do conceptually is include cpptest.h in here, which I've done, and then call my git gaussian function from Swift. Now there's a chance this might not work, and I'll explain why, but let's see if it, it uh, understands the C++ ABI. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say let uh, random number equals git Gaussian. It did work. I didn't have to do X turn C, which is really convenient. And then I'm going to go ahead and see what that number uh, might have been. I'm still a little uh, rusty and swift considering it's a brand new language. I think I did that right. So here we go. 
and build failed, linker error. So I, I was right about x turn c. So let me explain why this happened. Uh, it's saying it can't find get Gaussian. It says I, I, I told it there was a function called get Gaussian and it couldn't find it. And that's because when you are exposing C++ to C, which is what Swift is expecting, C, you have to ex uh, qualify your C++ functions with um, what's called C linkage. And the way that typically works is you will actually put extern C in your header like this. And um, the best way to do that is um, you put this in here, there'll be a problem because C++ uh, C can't handle extern C. So when the header file is included from here, the extern C, it's like, what are you talking about? Because it extern C is a C++ thing. So this is pretty nuts, but basically what you have to do is you have to say if def, if I'm compiling this header in C++ code, define it as C linkage, define all prototypes here with C linkage so that they will be exposed to C. If I'm including this header file from a C context, it'll just put this without the extern C because it won't understand that. And then after all that craziness, build succeeded. And I should be able to run this and I should be able to get my answer from my C++ code, which is a, a, a Gaussian distribution with mean, the mean at around 30. So if I were to run this, say, multiple times, oh, I don't know, one, two, zero to a thousand. And then I put this inside here. I should be able to get a thousand of these numbers Swift style calling in to C++ code for every single function call. So that's essentially how you do it, guys. Um, real quickly, just going back over everything. Step one, add a br bridging header. Step two, modularize your C++ code so that it can be wrapped conveniently into C functions. Or, or, or regular global functions. Then expose those functions in your header file, making sure you put if def C++ extern C and the, uh, the, the closing brace of that also wrapped in an if def in your header file. And then lastly but not leastly, call your functions from uh, Swift. It would be really nice down the road if this uh, extern crap wasn't necessary and Swift down the road actually supported C++ classes directly, but I understand C++ can be very complicated, uh, so it, I can understand why they, they didn't do that, at least initially. So uh, there you guys have it. That's a tutorial for how to access C++ code from uh, Swift. Hope you, uh, you learned something. All right, take care, guys. Bye.